guys, it's Ashley. I'm here with another video, finally. I thought I would film just a really easy, kind of how I do my wavy hair with my wand. Um, but there's a million videos like this on YouTube, but I thought, hey, like, I would just show you guys how I do mine, um, a couple of like tips and tricks that I use, um, and what works well for me. And yeah, so if you want to see my hair transform from flat to amazing, just keep watching. I don't know if you guys can see, but Phoebe is here for the party. Um, she like has to always be around me. Zach is out of town, so I think she's just like cleaning me on me right now. Um, yes, so this is um, how my hair dries. I showered today. Um, and I don't usually curl my hair with a wand um, on days that I shower because I like to have my hair really dirty when I wand my hair. But I know most people do wash their hair every day or at least every other day. And so I figured I would do this as if I had clean hair like most of you guys do, probably. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit harder for me to get what I want my hair to look like, but we'll see if I can do it. Um, but yeah, this is how my hair dries. It's pretty straight. It's really long. It's a little bit fine. Um, so it doesn't take me that long to curl it. If I wasn't making a video, it would probably take me 10 minutes to do my hair. That's it. Right now, all I have in my hair is the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. This is like such an OG product. I'm sure if like any hairdressers are watching this, like, wow, Ashley, there are better things out there. But for some reason, I've always liked this. I've used it for like 15 years and I put it in my hair when it's damp and then when it's dry I put it in again just more towards the end so this is all that's in my hair right now um, and then before we go in with my wand I will use the Chi um, 44 Iron Guard I don't know this is also an OG product I'm like an OG person when it comes to hair products so I'll just like spritz this in my hair so it doesn't get any damage you know you gotta protect the wig okay the weave has got to stay soft and shiny um, so that's what I do for that. And because my hair is clean and um, it makes it really hard to hold the curls in my hair when it's clean, I'm going to go in with some dry shampoo. I honestly use so many different brands of dry shampoo. Right now I have the Batiste one, the tropical one, so I'll just go in with that. This will just give it like a little bit of texture so that the iron has something to grab onto. I don't even put it like at my roots, like I don't really, I'm not really using it like for oiliness right now. I'm using it just to like give my hair some texture, you know? Okay, cool. Um, also, I use the bedhead, I think it's called Curly Pop Iron. Um, looks like this it has just an on and off switch. It doesn't have any heat settings. It goes up to like 400, I think. Um, and this is really nice. It's an inch and a quarter. Same with all the way down. <laughs> I really like this. I've used a ton of other wands. This is definitely the best wand. I like that it has a cool tip to it so you don't have to wear a glove. I hate wands where it's like you have to wear like the weird like black glove and you look super creepy and I just and I just who keeps track of that glove, you know? So that's what I do. Um, so we're just gonna get started. I had a lot more hair. Like I know some of you guys have super thick hair. I would probably clip up the top and do the bottom all the way around and then the top all the way around but i just don't have like that luscious thick hair um honestly i lost a lot of hair thickness when i did crossfit i think because it's like very intense and stressful and, like i don't know that was my hypothesis so i usually just do that and then i always start from the back and grab honestly grab like tinier pieces than most people would um and then just do a little wrappy wrap right here I keep probably at least an inch and a half or two inches out um, away from the wand. I don't want to kill my hair, and I also don't want the ends of it to be really curly, so I'll just kind of, then I'll just let it go. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's just like, it's a little wave. Notice my dark roots underneath. So on that one, I curled it in towards me, so on this one, I'm going to curl it away from my head also if you can't tell i'm looking at my mirror that's off to the left so i hope that's not distracting keeping like two inches out um curling it away so i keep switching directions i go back and forth instead of doing it all the same direction it doesn't look bad when you curl it all in the same direction but it's not the look i'm going for so that's just kind of my own tip is just doing it that way 
Um, sometimes I even just collapse it into my hand like this if it's a bigger chunk and I let it cool in my hand for a second um, so that it gives it a better curl and then I just let it go and it's just this nice wave. Notice that it's not like loopy curls. It's a nice wave and then I just, I'll brush it out later and you guys will see what it looks like. So I just keep repeating the process of switching the directions that I'm curling it. I love this wand so much because you don't get a clamp mark, but it's not a wand that gets smaller towards the bottom because those wands, if you've noticed, if you used before, it gives you more of that like tight curl and I, I don't want that, you know, I don't want that. So um, this is awkward that I'm like, hey. Um, yeah, so I just keep going back and forth and it's super simple. I'll keep the ends out so that I have more of that wave. Um, I don't even hairspray it right now. I just kind of wait. See that nice wave? Oh, so satisfying. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't really do my hair a lot, I'll be honest. Um, most days, you know, I only wash my hair once or twice a week and then most days I let it air dry um, and do whatever it wants or I surf and then it dries like wavy and pretty so I just keep it that way. Um, so maybe you can't relate to that but when I do want to look nice or like you know make my hair look nicer or I'm going somewhere nice I'll this is typically what I'll do or I'll do a braid of some kind um, and I still do that with dirty hair though I just I really don't like curling my hair with clean it's just yeah when my hair is clean it doesn't do it what I want it to do so it'll be really interesting to see what happens face I do all of the curls pretty much in the same direction just because I want my curls to really open up away from my face um, I don't know I've just read that that's what you're supposed to do so that's what I do um, this is a really great wand I know so I don't know if it's that earlier in the video it's like I think it ranges from like it's either like it's in the 25 to 50 dollar range and you can get it from Ulta and it's bad head and it's really great and I always see like all these girls on social media who are like getting sponsored to post about all those like really expensive curlers and wands and I'm just like Ugh, you don't need to spend two hundred dollars or like hundred dollars even to have a good like curling product you know like this one's ceramic so it's not like it's damaging your hair as bad as like other ones that aren't like it's a good wand so it's just funny to me that people really think you need to spend that much money to have something that's like I don't know I'm not trying to stir a pot I'm just saying you don't need to okay you okay. all right for the one near my face so I do it in a really small piece and I don't hold it that long on the barrel because I want the pieces near my face to be really natural. Um, that's the goal at least, so I just, I don't hold it that long. And this one closest to my face, I don't even wrap it up near the root. Um, I just want it to be really loose and nice. And voila. So this is not what it's going to stay looking like. Um, but we're going to let the curls cool. You want to make sure your curls cool because if you immediately go through and brush them and hairspray them, hairspray is usually cold um, and it's like damp though, it's wet, so it's going to actually make your curls fall out real like a lot. So I make sure they cool naturally on their own before I brush through and before I spray anything on it. So that's just what I do and I think it works really well. So. I'm turning on the Ashley cam so you guys can see what's happening here. This is what Phoebe does <laughs> when I do videos or do anything. She just follows me. <laughs> I want to be honest guys, I'm in a lot of pain right now. So today I went surfing um, and I like was walking in with my board and I was about to walk up to my car and I was walking across the sand and I wasn't looking down. 
And I stubbed my foot so hard on this giant rock that was like the size of a football. And I'm pretty sure I broke my toe. Um, it's like black and blue right now. And like, I honestly have to limp to walk because it hurts so bad. These waves are actually turning out way better than I thought they would. I definitely think the dry shampoo helped. So if you are like, oh my God, I can never curl my hair. They never stay. And you're like, it's cause you're washing your hair the same day. Just spray some dry shampoo all through it. You know, make sure you condition it really well though. And use serums so that it doesn't completely fry your hair out. But it seems to be working. So that's good. What shows are you guys watching? You know, Zach and I, um, so this is really funny. I don't know if you guys get all the advertisements from Amazon that are like, they're pumping that Jack Ryan show they have with Jake, Jake, John, John Krasinski, is that his name? Um, well, I've seen those advertisements everywhere, literally, like everywhere. And I was like, God, fine, I'll watch it and watch it with Zach. We watched the entire season. It's so good. Um, and now I'm watching The Last Man. It's kind of weird. But if you're into weird stuff, you know, or like apocalyptic, oh, apocalyptic shows, you would like that one too. All right, so we're done weaving everything. I will then just take my hands, run it just through the top of my hair to kind of break up any sections that are like kind of, you know, trying to hang out with their other friends. Does that make sense? And then I take my brush, I hold on right here, and I just ever so slightly brush out the ends. I, people do this kind of different. I feel like I don't, I do it differently, I feel like, than a lot of people, but this is what makes my hair, I feel like, look the most, like, naturally wavy, is when I just, just do the ends a little bit. All right, and this is my last tip to help you out. If you have long hair like me and your waves are gonna weigh down and get really loose and just fall super straight, I take my brush or you can take a comb and I just go up a little bit like this on the waves. It breaks it up even more and makes it look even more natural. So just go up, I'm not teasing it. Like I'm not a huge teasing person. It really damages my hair. You're just doing kind of a light teasing, not enough to like really damage it. You're making it just a little bit more full. Okay, and then I'll take my hairspray. I use lots of different hairsprays. I usually use the Rusk working spray, but right now I'm using um, Amika. I think they say the brand. Um, and then I'll just kind of do this number. Is that like a thing? I don't know. All right, so this is what it looks like in the back. You can kind of see the different directions of the curls I did and what that looks like. Um, I love that the bottom has more fullness than the top. Um, you notice kind of when I was brushing out the ends and doing the back brush up the curls, it makes it look fuller, um, which I think looks really nice. I just think it makes it look really healthy and yeah. You know, you just want your hair to look full and healthy at the bottom. So, yeah, it turns out really nice. I hope that was helpful. Hopefully you got a couple of good tips. If not, you at least have a good show to watch now that's on Amazon Prime. Um, but, yeah, I will be making another video soon. Um, I hope you guys have a great week and hope your hair looks beautiful.